on the development of Rover, we noticed that there was kind of a likeness to the NASA shuttle transporter. So we kind of got the idea like, ooh, maybe we could put a rocket on top of Rover and launch it remotely. We have the expansion port that the user can use. Like we should be able to use that to trigger a rocket somehow. So this is our kind of rover launch platform that we made. Um, we had a plasma cut out of some 14 gauge steel here, and then we laser etched a crosshair on top of it, made a little aluminum collar right here that holds the launch rod. And then these are our two igniter contacts that clip onto the model rocket motor igniter and launch it off. Then underneath here, we have a battery for the igniter itself, and then we have a safety switch, and then a simple relay with a couple LEDs, an armed and fire LED. And then this is what plugs into the rover to launch it and sends power from the battery up to the contacts themselves and ignites the igniter and launches the model rocket. As far as the rocket went itself, this is actually the one we didn't launch. Um, we lost that one. The one we did launch, we actually inset the motor about 25 millimeters or so, so that way we could put some extra little, it's called like flash cotton, burns really quick and creates a nice little flame. We decided to put some of that in there, give it a little bit more whoosh, that sort of thing. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> as far as the programming goes, it was actually really easy. It didn't require an external processor. We were able to use kind of our SDK and API set to send commands directly through our test app that we have here internally, but a user could just as easily do that with the EDU app or their own sort of app if they wanted to create one. Send down their own API commands to the robot and make the robot do essentially whatever you want it to do. Three, two. All in all, it was a pretty successful launch um, and it was really fun to build and try out. Um, mixing robotics with rocketry, model rocketry, that sort of thing, it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in the Boulder area and you find the twin of this rocket here, bring it by Sphero and we might be able to give you a rubber or something in the tour. Thanks. <laughs>